Hi, this is Sridhar from WPWDesign.com. In this screencast, I'm going to show how we can create a featured content uh, section on the home page in an Oxygen website using the repeater component and uh, S or no type of custom field that has been added using ports. And by the way, this can be done using straight up WordPress or ACF or Metabox or ports. It doesn't matter as long as it is a custom field and the dynamic data a condition that is built into oxygen now let's let's get started i have already installed pods and then i'm going to go to pods admin add new and click on extend existing because the post type that i would like to work with is the standard posts and that is already selected here. I'm going to click next. Add a field. And for the label, I'm going to call this featured. And the name is automatically going to be populated based on the label. And for the description, I could enter something like, should this post be featured on the home page? For the field type, I'm going to come down to S slash no and save the field and save the pod. So let's go to the list of posts and uh, designate the post that should be featured. So I'm going to go to that post, for example, scroll down and uh, here I can see this new meta box that has been added by pods. I'm going to click on S to feature this post update and uh, repeat the same with one more let's say this post click on this update all right so here i already have the oxygen visual editor open for the home page uh, by the way i have set a static page called home as the home page in the WordPress settings reading. All right, so I'm gonna add a section here. And move this to the top. And uh, let's give it a background color of uh, light gray. And uh, I'm gonna add a heading that should say something like featured content. Let's the, set the font size to some 34 pixels. And uh, I could uh, add some margin at the bottom of say 20 pixels. And next thing I'm gonna do is add a repeater component. And I'm gonna go to query and select custom and for the post type select post and if i click on apply query params it is basically gonna fetch uh, as many rows as there are uh, in the wordpress settings and reading okay so let me click on this first uh, or top div and set the background color to white Inside this, I'm going to add a columns component of, uh, let's say, 4016. And in the left div, I would like to show the featured image. So go to add image and then data featured image. And I would like to go with a medium large sized image. Insert. And I would like to uh, have this image link to the, the posts. So I could do this by um, clicking on this link button and cancel this and select data permalink. So now I have the post which is linking to the um, permalink of that post. All right, so let's design the right div by first adding a post title which is linking to the post 
So I'm going to click on heading and uh, change the font size to 20 and double click and click on insert data, post title and enable the link. And if I click outside somewhere, anywhere, it is going to basically display or fetch the linked titles of these posts. Okay, so the next thing I would like to do is to add some, uh, add the excerpt for these posts. So if I go to add WordPress and dynamic data, now there is no uh, built in component for displaying the excerpts. When I click on this content, it is going to show all the content. That is not what I want. So let's go back to basics and add a text component. Well, looks like I added a heading component instead of a text component. So in this, I'm just going to delete that. Click on add text. OK, and double click this text and insert data. Come down to PHP function return value and for the function name, I'm going to put in get the excerpt and insert. So that is going to fetch the excerpts for these posts and show them. Let me add some padding or margin, sorry. Okay, let's save this. So now if we go to the front end, all right, let's, um, let me select this repeater div and add a margin at the bottom of say 20 pixels to separate the posts all right so now we have the all the latest posts appearing but not really the featured posts uh, now here comes the magic of oxygen's conditions i'm going to select this div and click on this conditions icon set conditions add the condition and here I'm going to select dynamic data and um, select this custom field meta options and either select my custom field from this uh, list of custom fields or I can simply type or paste uh, the name of the custom field. So I know that it is featured. That's the name that has been uh, given. So I can select that and you can see it got populated here. Click on insert. So I would like a post to be output only if it has been uh, set or if the value of this feature is yes. So in, in terms of the programming languages, that is basically one and no would be zero, S would be one. Close that, save it come here and reload and now you can see that we're only showing these two posts that have been set as featured in the WordPress backend. I hope you found this helpful. Bye for now.